हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस लर्न लेट अस कंटिन्यू आवर लेक्चर ऑन जनरलाइज्ड सीशर्स सो इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव लर्न्ड अबाउट फोकल सीशर्स इन दिस क्लास आई वुड लाइक टू टीच यू अबाउट द जनरलाइज्ड सीशर्स सो जनरलाइज्ड सीशर्स आर जनरली डिवाइडेड इनटू फोर टाइप्स दोज इंक्लूड एब्सेंट सीशर्स टोनिक क्लोनिक सीशर्स एटोनिक सीशर्स एंड माइटोनिक सीशर्स एब्सेंट सीशर्स आर अगेन डिवाइडेड इंटू टू टाइप्स वन इज टिपिकल एब्सेंट सीशर्स एंड ए टिपिकल एब्सेंट सीशर्स सो इन फर्स्ट वन देर इज लेट इज लर्न अबाउट एब्सेंट सीशर्स इन दैट टिपिकल एब्सेंट सीशर्स ओके इन टिपिकल एब्सेंट सीशर्स वॉट इज अ टिपिकल एब्सेंट सीशर्स इट जनरली अकर्स इन चिल्ड्रन Uh, who are between the age group of four to eight years, or it can also occur in adolescents. Okay, it can occurs in children or adolescents. So here, um, there is um, sudden lapse of consciousness, brief sudden lapses of consciousness, without loss of postural control. The person sees like this, just he is normal. Um, Brief, briefly, suddenly he does not lose his consciousness. He is normal. He has no uh, he has no loss of postural control. But he suddenly loses. He suddenly goes into some world. He does. He he suddenly loses his contact with the surroundings. Okay. Sometimes it is. Um, so uh, he uh, the for example a child a child sits and he uh, he does his homework and suddenly he stops doing the homework uh, and he just stares at the person or sometimes he blinks eyes okay he stares and then uh, within few seconds uh, he becomes normal so the child stops doing work and he stares um and then within few seconds just within few seconds he becomes normal so that is typical absence seizures here it is sometimes associated with some episodes of blinking okay or sometimes the person may chew chew food he may blink or chew food sometimes these are also seen associated with blinking or chewing food okay uh, these are some motor signs these can occur hundreds of episodes not just one episode this episodes these all can occur hundreds of episodes per day and then the child uh, here it's most common in 4 to 8 years of child child is not aware of his uh, uh, situation and how how did the how how how, how did the physician know about it then the best way how the physician comes to know about it is when the teacher of the child uh, she complains that the child is daydreaming he is not listening to the class uh, he cannot perform well in the school his uh, uh, marks or his performance has declined suddenly in the school so this is the first clue if a child very small child who is 4 to 8 years of age of around I mean less than 10 years of age and more than 4 years of age such a child has come to the opd uh, with a complaint that he has suddenly decreased his um, uh, performance in the school and he has many complaints of daydreaming then always think of this typical absence seizures then how are you going to oh investigated the best investigation that we do is eeg because we are not we are not able to see the seizures per se so we'll have to have some evidence and uh, some clear idea that he had a seizure episode so for that we have to do a eeg in eeg we see a spike this is a spike pattern and a wave pattern okay we see a spike pattern and a wave pattern and this will be symmetrical the spike and wave pattern will be symmetrical and it has 3 hertz frequency so this is what we see in eeg uh, eeg episode and then um so this is about the um, typical absence seizures so now let us learn about the second one which is atypical absence seizures so what is atypical 
absent seizures in atypical absent seizures it has a name says it's an absent seizure but it's atypical so it does not have the typical features of absent seizure like la lapse of consciousness for some a brief period of time and then recovering again and becoming normal having many episodes and some small motor changes subtle motor changes like blinking or chewing all those will not be there here so here what is what is mainly there here the consciousness lapse that is lapse of consciousness is for longer period and it is less abrupt it's not abrupt. it's not uh, very sudden it's less abrupt in typical what is there it is for shorter period very shorter period some seconds and it is abrupt in onset okay and then uh, if you see this absence seizures it is sometimes associated with focal features okay so that we, it is not difficult for us to uh, diagnose it okay here there is no focal seizures then eeg what are you going to see in eeg in eeg here we see uh, a spike and wave pattern but that is slow slow spike and wave pattern okay and it has 2 point less than 2 less than 2.5 hertz okay this is 3 hertz and there is spike and wave pattern a little faster so that is the difference between atypical and typical absent seizures so i think you understood about atypical absent seizures so thank you guys for watching my lecture in my next class we will learn about generalized tonic clonic seizures thank you for watching my lecture thank you please watch subscribe the channel for more lectures